Leo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for the month of February. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Leo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. If you're wondering what card fell out, that was the five of wands. So for some of you, there could be some sort of conflict. This could be um, an outer conflict or an inner conflict. Nothing is a coincidence on this channel. So when it happens, um, there's definitely some sort of message there. We're gonna see as your reading plays out, what comes out for you. Okay, so your challenge for February, Leo, is the Page of Wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords upright. Okay? So your biggest challenge, Leo, has a lot to do with the Page of Wands. I feel with the Page of Wands energy, there's definitely something here about you wanting to move into a new direction, you being ready to move into a new direction. And this isn't just you moving into any new direction. It's really about your passion, your goals, the thing that's, things that you want. Um, and it's been very challenging maybe for you to move into this new direction, okay? And we're gonna see why this is happening and what you need to know in a moment. In the recent past, you have the Nine of Wands, you have the Eight of Swords and you have the Strength. So in the recent past, there was a situation that you were involved in, Leo, where you felt alone, okay? You felt like, you know, you were stuck somewhere. It's like no matter how much you try to make something work, um, you felt stuck, you felt like you weren't being supported. And usually for many of you, um, you know, especially if you're a Leo, you're like, I'm a Leo. <laughs> I can get through anything, right? But for some reason in the past, something really blocked you or made you feel alone or made you feel like you couldn't release yourself. It's almost like you were a prisoner here in the past and you felt very tired or weary. It was almost like you were swimming upstream in the past. And we're gonna talk more about this and why this is coming in for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the moon, you have the high priestess and you have the queen of wands. So you're here in the present moment. I feel like you're facing yourself. You're seeing something for what it is. I do get a sense here that you're getting a lot of intuitive messages like you're getting a lot of insight within yourself about moving into a new direction what you you know what you need to do how you need to do that and there's a lot of secrets here or there's a lot of um question marks here it's like I don't know what's going to happen you know I don't really know what to expect especially because many of you know it's time to move into a new direction but you don't know what the right direction is because for many of you you don't want to make the wrong decision so we're going to talk about this moon card and we're going to see what's being hidden from you and what spiritually you may need to know to help you gain some sort of clarity on this new direction that you've been so much wanting to have okay in the near future you have the four of cups you have the knight of wands and you have the empress so it looks like for you in the near future there's definitely this desire to create more okay there's a, a desire here the empress by the way you know some of you are pregnant maybe you're going to be pregnant or you're going to have a child here it is showing up in the near future even if you're not pregnant this is about you creating something this is about you crafting or creating something and here's what i see happening for you leo in the near future you're letting go of all the situations people places, things that are just not supporting you, okay? That are just not supporting your creation, your manifestations, your passion, because one thing you may or not, you may or may not realize about yourself, you're extremely passionate. You're an extremely passionate person and you know what you want. And a lot of you feel alone here, okay? Whether that's now in the past or in the future, there's a strong emphasis here of, you know, I'm alone, but I have to take care of myself and I have to make sure that, you know, I'm not giving up on my passion because there's something here that you enjoy doing, but perhaps you haven't been able to do it because you've been distracted or you've been associated with the wrong people or you just simply feel bored 
with whatever it is that you're doing. So there is a change happening here, but the change is happening because you don't wanna lose your passion or you don't wanna lose the things that you love and you enjoy doing. And this is what comes to the forefront for you, especially because your challenge is the page of wands, which is moving into a new direction, okay? What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the queen of swords and you have the three of wands, okay? So this is about you logically taking the steps to move towards the things that you love and the things that you enjoy. I do feel over the next few weeks, there's going to be a major milestone in your life. What do I mean by milestone? milestone, I mean a change, but a big change. A milestone can mean birth, death, marriage, um, new job, new career, new place of residence. There's something here that's going to take place over the next few weeks that you start to say, you know, this is a part of my new direction. And, you know, the new direction that I'm moving into is one that's going to support my passion. It's going to support the things that I'm creating because there's something here that you want to create or you want to accomplish. But part of you achieving that means you need to have the right people around you or you need to not have, you know, the, the wrong people around you, right? It could go vice versa. So let's get into your Reading. Let's do some clarification. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the page of wands, which is your challenge. So the page of wands is clarified by you have the five of swords, you have the four of pentacles and you have the five of cups. So your biggest challenge here, Leo, has a lot to do with disappointment that's taken place in your life over the last few months. OK, even though this reading is for February, um, we are still talking about the past moving into the future. So there is going to be some sort of connection to that. OK, so your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with recognizing what you're still holding on to toxic friends, toxic people, toxic environments, drama, people who cheat, lie, deception, lazy people, people who are not supporting your happiness. This is what you're moving away from. This is what you're moving into a new direction from, okay? Um, one of the reasons why it's been very difficult for you to move forward the way that you want to is because you're still connected to the things that don't work or support you. And this is a common theme I'm seeing with everybody, especially in February, because February is going to be the last and final month until we move into the new era, okay? And the new era is starting March 2024, where Pluto is moving out of Capricorn officially into Aquarius, which is officially dawning the age of Aquarius, which we've been hearing since the 70s. You know, we've been hearing the age of Aquarius, right? We've been hearing that so it's finally happening for you and Aquarius is the ruler of your seventh house. So this has a lot to do with the people you partner with, the people that you maybe share your resources with, if this is a marriage or this is business, it, you know, asking yourself, am I too focused on everything that went wrong? Am I too focused on the people in my life that are bringing drama? Am I too focused on everything that is not feeding my soul when I need to shift my focus towards what will feed my soul? And this is what the representation of the five of cups is because the five of cups has the two of cups in the back, right? Of this person's, um, you know, awareness. So a lot of a lot of you have been focusing on the drama, but you've needed to. Why? Because you need to recognize that that's something you need to let go. And that's the biggest challenge, because once you let go of these petty people or these petty situations and you stop holding on to them mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, it clears the slate for you and you're like, cool, I don't have to deal with this anymore. Now I can actually focus on what I'm meant to focus on, which is my passion, which is a part of this new direction that I'm moving into. So this is gonna be a big part of your challenge in the month of February and throughout, okay? So let's talk about um, the past. Let's clarify the nine of wands. Okay, so the Nine of Wands is clarified by you have the Chariot, you have the Two of Pentacles, and you have the Three of Wands. 
So in the recent past, there was a choice or a decision about letting something go, moving into a new direction on your own. It may have been very scary for you in the past, but the reason why a lot of you started to think like this, you know, I have to move into a new direction. I no longer want to be associated or connected to things that are making me feel drained. Some of you were involved in situations where, you know, no matter how much you gave to the situation and no matter how much you didn't want to give up on it, you felt so tired. And something here started to become extremely difficult. And no matter how much you tried to make this work, you felt bored in the situation or you felt like you were rejected or not really wanted, which made you feel alone anyways here in the past. So there was some sort of light bulb that went off in your mind that said, you know what? I need to make a decision about this. I think something here needs to change because something here is not good. It's not healthy. A lot of you started to close yourself off to certain people here in the past because you were over giving to a situation that wasn't really giving back to you. Um, there was a lot of breadcrumbing here in the past and you started to say in the past, you know what, do I really want my future to be like this? You know, do I really want my future to be like this where I'm constantly, you know, the care the caretaker? You know, I'm constantly the one giving to everybody else but nobody's really acknowledging my feelings or what I need. And that's why the Two of Swords is here because a lot of you said enough. I'm not opening myself to just anybody anymore. You know, um, first of all, you need to understand who you are. Understand, understand, and understand who Leo is. Leo is the king or the queen of the jungle. Not everybody has access to you. And if you're somebody who's like, oh yeah, I'm going to give access to this person and that person, and you're giving access to everybody, then you, you're forgetting who you are. You're forgetting your, your regal royal energy, okay? And it doesn't matter what Leo you are. You can be a cusp, you can be whatever. Um, you can simply just be someone who's a rising or maybe a moon. So this is about you recognizing why your energy was drained here in the past, why you ended up feeling alone. And I think this needed to happen for many of you to recognize the pain and hurt that this situation caused you because it did cause you pain but it also helped you to realize and recognize what needs to change. And that's when you may have realized in the past, you know, the things that I want, the things that are part of my destiny can finally come in because now I'm realizing why I feel the way I feel. Because you felt some sort of way here and something had to continue to happen, drain you and make you feel so upset until you started to step up to the plate and say this needs to change and that's what i feel happened for you in the past okay and look a lot of you set boundaries here in the past you were too busy you had too much going on everybody was sucking from you okay that's what i'm seeing here okay it's not the greatest energy but that's what i'm seeing here now important message for you leo in the present moment with the queen of wands what is the important message for leo in the present moment So you have the Queen of Wands, which is clarified by the Hierophant, you have the Moon, and you have the High Priestess. So in the present moment, what's coming to your attention is your commitments, the people or situations that you're committed to. You're getting a lot of insight, okay? So if you're watching this and you've been getting voices in your head or you've been getting dreams or you've just been simply getting like your intuitions telling you stuff, you need to listen to that because... The moon here twice is telling me that there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding you, but then there's equally with the high priestess here, you're connected to a spirit guide or angel. There's somebody looking out for you and they're saying, listen to your intuition. Look at this. You have the high priestess here twice in the present moment and you have the moon here in the present moment twice, which is telling me that for many of you, when you commit yourself to someone, okay, whether it's in a relationship, business, etc., you're committing to someone because intuitively you feel like it's the right thing, not because you feel obligated to commit yourself to someone. For many of you, you're ending certain commitments in your life because they just don't support your well-being. They just don't support your passion and what it is that you love or like doing. So what is the important message from your intuition? Let's see if we can pull some extra information on that to give you some more clarity about your situation. Your biggest message here when it comes to your intuition is to allow yourself the time to release yourself from something here that's been making you feel isolated or alone. A lot of you watching this have been feeling alone. 
you've been feeling like no matter how much you try to make something work, it just doesn't work for you. And this is a very strong indication that it's time for you to have a new beginning. And this new beginning is going to help you to get out of this place of feeling alone, feeling disconnected, not feeling loved or supported. It will take some time for you, but I think February is the month where you're gonna start thinking about this. And it's a big change that's coming in for you because you're tired of feeling alone or you're tired of feeling like you're involved in connections that really don't go anywhere, okay? So a commitment, relationship, home situation may transform or change, but it's transforming and changing, Leo, because it's giving you your power back. Excuse me, it's giving you your, you your power back. Okay, um, so for many of you, it's important in the present moment that you're listening to your intuition, which is gonna help you to move into this new direction. It will take time because some of you are committed to certain people or situations that are not healthy for you. And you may not realize that they're not healthy for you until a certain amount of time passes because each of us are on different timelines, okay? So that's the important message for you in the present moment. A lot of you are disconnecting from the past or you're getting clear about what happened in the past in order for you to move on from it, okay? So let's talk about the near future. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is clarified by you have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Emperor, and you have the Queen of Swords. So it looks like for you in the near future, a lot of you are going to get clear on your commitments, your relationships, your collaborations. Um, for many of you, it's going to be very clear that certain collaborations, group projects are not for you because there is a feeling of boredom or a feeling of I'm not supposed to be there. A lot of you are worried about an ending, but I'm going to tell you right now, you are going to be reevaluating your life. And a lot of you, when you reevaluate your life in the near future, you're going to say to yourself, I'm not happy. This situation that I'm involved in, it's bringing nothing but stress, worry, and I want it to come to an end. And it will come to an end because you're taking action here. For many of you, do you know when your success is going to come in? A lot of you are watching this and saying, Monica, when am I going to be successful? When am I going to get that money? When am I going to meet the right person in love? When am I going to feel happy? When am I going to accomplish the things that I want? You want to know the answer? You're going to accomplish things in your life and get everything that you want when you set boundaries with people because you're too busy catering to everybody else you're too busy catering to everything that's not a part of your passion, a part of the things that you want to create, which is stopping you or hindering you from achieving the success that you want. And not only that, it's also stopping you from moving into a new direction. There's your challenge. Look, in the near future, that's your challenge. Page of Wands. And look, in the near future, there's the Page of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. What? So money opportunity are there for you, but are you entertaining the right people? Are you entertaining the right circumstances, the right environments? Are you too busy to focus on the things that you love? And if you are, then you need to ask yourself, are these people that I'm connected to really helping me or are they actually hindering my success? Because where your focus is in the near future is to get super logical on what's gonna bring you the stability that you seek. And that's what I feel is happening for you. So this is about you stepping outside of your comfort zone and becoming very logical about what is truly gonna get you closer to the things that you love and the things that you want to accomplish and achieve, okay? So let's get some advice for you. Okay, so the advice is the tower, the six of cups and the 10 of wands. Stop entertaining people or situations from the past. If something here didn't work out or if something in the past led to nothing but burdens and problems, why do you keep going back to it? If something is not functioning or working the way it needs to, which is connected to your past, let it crumble. Let that building burn, okay? Because it doesn't have a right to stand anymore, okay? This is the reality here. The reality is, is whatever's causing difficult for you, difficulties for you in your life, stop entertaining it. Stop focusing on it because something here is breaking down and it's not a part of your goals. It's not a part of your future. Um, something here in the past or something presently connected to the past has 
become very difficult to show you that it's time to rebuild your life and move into a new direction. And the more you focus on that, the more you're gonna realize that getting closer to the things that you love doing, the things that you want to do are there for you. But the more you continue to entertain things that are not a part of your future, that are part of the past, that have just made your life nothing but a living hell, um, you know, now it's time for you to focus on rebuilding that portion of yourself and that piece of your life to truly feel fulfilled. Instead of feeling this depression and sadness and feeling like you don't have the power you do when you let go of the burden connected to the past, which is breaking down before your eyes. Okay, focus on that new direction is your biggest piece of advice. Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope it helped and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.